So this is the bag sort video for the left border. We're going to tackle the first bag, obviously, first. So we're going to crack open the left border pack. And inside the left border pack is a collection of stuff. So we have one through five in one bag, six through nine in another bag, and 10 through 13 in a third bag. We also have the solid scalloped triangles for the between the piece triangles on the edges. And then we have the modification blocks already in here. So the first thing I do is I'm gonna go through here and mark in my book which blocks are modified and which are not as I go through here. So I'm gonna go through here and mark every one of these as um, one and two are modified. And I'm assuming a lot of these are three and four, five and seven, eight, 10, 11, 12. Top border 11, top border 12. Well, that's not right. All right, so in my book, in my, in my book here, it says top border 12 and top border 11 in the left border pack. So we're gonna go to the book here and look at left side 11 and left side 12. And it looks to be the right blocks. So it's just a matter of a, a typo. So this is 11. And so this is the same block here. And this is 12. Sorry about the glare. I'm having issues with lighting today. And this is 12. So it's a little modified at the tip, but it's the same block. So just understand that this is left and left. So I'm going to label which ones are modified on my book, and then I'm going to come back and start sorting the one through five bag. So I've got my book ready to go on the first block, and it is a modified block, so we're going to go to the booklet and get that page out. And it's been simplified a bit. And we are going to dump out this bag and see what we got in here. And as I always do, I group stuff as I sort it. And there's a bunch of little tinies in here. Oops. The triangle bags tend to have more tiny pieces. I'm except for the I row. I row has lots of little tiny pieces. So I'm gonna go through here and find the pieces for this block. One of the biggest pieces is gonna be this guy. And then we'll see where we go from there. So I found all my pieces. I had to put a coaster here because the paper was like puffing up. So that seemed to help. So I'm gonna label this. I'm using LS because I have a block of the month and I've already labeled everything in the book LS. LB is on the kit, so whatever you want to use, left border, left side, whatever works for you. I just wanted to explain my LS notation. So let me get these all labeled. So I've got all my pieces labeled. And at this time, we're going to label the focus fabric. Focus fabric is going to be this center and these triangles. And then, okay, so we've simplified these. So these little triangles here are going to be focus fabric right there. And then this triangle here. And then this strip and this triangle. But what about the edges? So there was a triangle here. Hmm. Oh, this triangle here, because you've got this part and then this part. So that's this triangle there, which makes that shape appear the way it is. So this is background. All this is background except this triangle and that triangle. These are background. 
And the rest of this is background except the triangle, the strip, and the triangle. Okay. So the other issue with these triangles is that once you get them into the bag, it's really, it can be challenging to put them back where they were when you go to assemble them. So what I like to do is I like to number them as I take them off. So I label them with another kind of pen so that I know it's a number rather than, it's a number of the block rather than a labeling of the piece for that block. So I'm gonna just, doesn't matter what you label them as, just as long as you've got the same number here. So, you know, two, and I'm gonna do this as I take them off so that I can assemble them, whoops, <laughs> so that I can assemble them easier when I'm done. So I'm gonna do this for the whole thing and then I'll be able to bag it up. So I moved on to the second triangle and again it's modified so we're gonna go to the booklet and work from there again. And the first sections, we've got some really interesting shapes going on here so that should be fun and a very large diamond, which I do not see currently. There it is. So I will get to finding these pieces. So I've got all the pieces laid out for this uh, second block, second triangle actually, and I will be labeling them LS2. All right, so I've got all my pieces laid out and now it's time to label my focus fabric. So normally I would go to the picture. However, this picture is not of this block. In the book, they don't match either. So, so I've checked the book for the rest of the blocks and actually this is a picture of the number 12 block for the left side and it's the same exact picture. So there is no picture in the book for the LS2 block. So if I refer to the pamphlet, this one right here is number two, and it's very tiny, but what it is, is you have, let me set this right here without messing up my pieces. You have the center diamond as focus fabric, and so then this piece is focus fabric. These next to it are going to be background. So then these that are pointing the same way as the tip are going to be focus fabric again. This is background. This is focus fabric. All right, so so far you got this big piece on the bottom, these little triangles pointing towards the base, and the big diamond in the center. The next section up here, because this is focus fabric, these are going to be background and this is going to be focus fabric as well. These pieces here are background. Then the tip is also going to be focus fabric with a background diamond applique onto it. So again, to recap here, because we don't have a picture, we have the big base piece, background pieces on the side. These pieces that point towards the base, the two triangles here are gonna be focus fabric. The rest of this is gonna be background. The big diamond in the center is focus fabric. The two pieces on either side are background. The four-sided shape, shape on the very edge here on this row is going to be focus fabric. The little triangles next to the diamond are background. The big tip is focus fabric and the applique diamond is going to be background. Now I'm also going to number my pieces as well, like I did in the last block. And I did not mark for directional on the last block, but I have the fabric for it and it's not direction, so it's not a big deal, but this the fabric I have for number two is, and I don't know what the fabric is for the rest of the row. So I'm gonna make sure I mark the rest of my blocks in this bag as directional in addition to this one. So I'm going to just make sure that they're all in the same direction and then I can always decide what direction that needs to be. So I'll do directional first so I don't forget. 
and then I can do numbering because I have to move them as I number. So I've got this one, this one, this one. Okay, so I'll number these and move them as I do. This will be part two. And then I will be able to put these in the bag. Next is the third triangle of the left side border. And again, it's a modified block, so we're going to go to the booklet and work from there. We've got two football shapes that are the only football shapes that I found in the bag. So we've got this guy and that guy. I'm going to set them aside. Set them aside over here because they won't interfere with me then. And we will get to finding those pieces that fit. I've got my pieces for the third triangle, and now it's just time to label them. These are underneath. This is, goes this way, and that goes this way, so I've put it that way so I could label it properly. Now I'm going to label my focus fabric, and that's going to be at this picture. So we have the big triangle, the square in the center, the triangles next to that, the ones up here are background. This triangle is focus fabric, and this football is focus fabric. This one is background. Next, I'm going to label my directional because I'm not sure what my fabric is for this. So I am going to just pick a direction and make sure they're all the same. And then I'm going to number my triangle pieces as before. And then I can move on to the next block. Next up is LS4, and we have a bunch of curves. When I was sorting, I had a bunch of curves I put in one pile, so I'm going to just grab that and assume that we're going to be working from those. But we have a modified block, so give me a moment and let me get the booklet. So we'll work from this one. So we have all of these seagull looking shapes that we're going to put together on the bottom here. And then we have to find all these. So I'm going to work on finding these. Now I've got all my pieces for this number four triangle and I will label these now I'm going to label my focus fabric, which is for here. I'm going to start on the bottom section, and then this other piece, this piece right here, and then above the V, these little triangles in the row are all going to be focus fabric with surrounded by background, and then I'm going to make the tip. The tip can be either one, but I'm going to make the tip focus fabric as well. And then I'm going to number them as I, no, I'm going to mark them for directional first, and then I'm going to number them. And then all these little tiny triangles, you got to do these little bitty marks so that you can have room to do other stuff. So there we go for that. Now I'm going to number them as I take them off, put them in the bag, and move on to the next one. So we're up to the last triangle of this bag, which is the LS5. And again, it's a modified block, so we're going to use the booklet. And most of these, well, all of these pieces are going to go on this particular triangle, and I will get them laid out. So I've got all my pieces laid out. And now I'm going to label them LS5. Now I'm going to label my focus fabric. And we have the center triangle and the outside little ones. We have this bigger one here. And then these guys. Oops. This little one here. 
these things here, not the center triangle, and then I'm going to do the tip as well. So we have three, this one, one, two, three, and that one. I'm also going to mark my directional fabric in case I have some. And then I'm going to number my pieces. And this is going to be the end of this bag. I will bag this up and we will be able to move to the next bag sort video.